So what we want to do is figure out the foci for this ellipse. And so pause this video, have a go at this before we do this together. All right. So this all boils down to figuring out what the focal length is. And we can figure out the focal length based on the lengths of the major and minor axes. If f is the focal length, we know that the focal length is going to be equal to the square root of the length of the major axis squared minus the length of the minor axis squared. And we prove this in other videos. It really comes straight out of the definition of what an ellipse is. So to figure out f, let's figure out p and q first. So what is the length of the major axis? So the center here is at 5, negative 2. And we have this point here at 5, 4.5. So let's see, this length is looks like it's 6.5, right? We have 2 here and then another 4.5. So this is 6.5 squared minus, and then the length of the minor axis, we're going from 5 to 7.5. So this is 2.5 right over here. So minus 2.5 squared. And then we're going to take the square root of all of that to figure out the focal length. So let me get the calculator out. I have 6.5 squared minus 2.5 squared is equal to, and then you take the square root of that, you just get 6. So our focal length is equal to 6. But they don't, they're not asking us the focal length, or I didn't ask you the focal length. We need to figure out where are the foci. So we're, the foci sit on the major axis, one way to think about that. And if we go 6 above this point right over here, we're at negative 2. If we go 6 above, we'll be right over here. So this one foci will be at the point 5, and then negative 2 plus 6 is 4. And then the other would be at 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. And then negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. And we're done. We have identified the foci for this ellipse.